covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. Work is beginning on what is thought to be the world's first major plant to store energy in the form of liquid air. It will use surplus electricity from wind farms at night to compress air so hard that it becomes a liquid at minus 196 Celsius. Then, when there is a peak in demand in a day or a month, the liquid air will be warmed so it expands. The resulting rush of air will drive a turbine to make electricity, which can be sold back to the grid. The system was devised by Peter Dearman, a self-taught backyard inventor from Hertfordshire, and it has been taken to commercial, to commercial scale with a £10 million grant from the UK government. Dr. Dearman said his or Mr. Dearman said his invention was 60 to 70 percent efficient depending on how it is used. That is less efficient than batteries, but he said the advantage of liquid air is the low cost of the storage tanks, so it can be easily scaled up. Also, unlike batteries, liquid air storage does not create a demand for minerals which may become increasingly scarce as the world moves towards power systems based on variable renewable electricity. Batteries are really great for short-term storage, Mr. Dearman said, but they are too expensive to do long-term energy storage. That's where liquid air comes in. Mr. Dearman had been developing a car run on similar principles with liquid hydrogen when he saw the potential for applying the technology to electricity storage. He is now a passive shareholder in High View, one of the firms building the 50-megawatt plant. The 50 megawatt facility near Manchester will store enough energy to power around 50,000 homes for up to five hours. That is really amazing. Just to think that a few thousand years ago, we were taking buckets of water up a hill to store them and then use that water were as we? energy. We were. I remember. Oh, yeah, I know. Just back in the day, right? Just getting like <laughs> coffees and everything. No, oh, yeah. but it's, it's remarkable in the sense that we're able to use this natural thing that we breathe every day yeah. and use that to store energy. I think that's absolutely fantastic. Talking about a green energy source. What a clever idea. But uh, like how much pressure is oh. this thing <laughs> under? More than me whenever I had work, but still. Oh, boy. Um, no, but it's, it's a remarkable idea. And the, I really like how they really focused on the idea of green energy because again, yeah. unlike batteries where you have to have all these minerals, everything else dug up, mm -hmm. you're able to use this, it's it's just air. It's, it's and, under compression and it's able to store energy. Yes, and thinking of batteries, not only do you have to obtain the resources, but mm -hmm. when those are depleted, when they're no longer able to hold exactly a Exactly, the waste, everything else. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's exactly right. One less thing to worry about and it, it's just amazing these technologies, and I'd, I'm curious to see what they think of next. Mm -hmm. I, I love the idea of uh, an energy source that is able to kind of recycle itself. Yes. And that's kind of what this reminds me of. I've thought about, and I know it's not practical, and I know that it's probably not even possible, but yeah. um, putting, like, uh, in a, you know, in a water source, something that can pump the water because it's, yeah. and, and generate electricity at the same time. There's so many neat ideas out there. there, there but this are. is something that's actually coming to pass. Well, that, this is the number one thing because with, in respect to green technology, the big, the largest thing that's been lagging behind is definitely being able to store that energy. Because again, yeah. we do have these advances in solar power, wind power, but mm -hmm. the issue is where do you store all that energy? Where do you energy? put it? Yeah. So this can definitely be one of those solutions that can help us help turn our economy, our world into a more greener place cool. down the road. So this, this is really, really cool to hear. Can't wait to see what comes of it. Yeah. Or hears of it. Or smells of it. I, I'm trying to think of air puns, but it's not working. <laughs> So, <laughs> we tried. Oof. Big thanks to Roy W. Nash and our community of viewers for submitting stories to us this week. Thanks for watching the Category5.tv newsroom. Don't forget to like and subscribe for all your tech news with a slight Linux bias. And if you appreciate what we do, become a patron at patreon.com slash Category5. From the Category5.tv newsroom, I'm Becca Ferguson.